Hey guys, William here. Sorry, I didn't want to have to come back to you guys, have my first video back be about some something that I really didn't want to talk about. But we have this Kenosha shooting, and it was the Kyle Rittenhouse versus uh, he shot three people, and it was was it murder? Was it self defense? What's going on? There is a lot of misinformation about this. And uh, I wanted to show you a video that I could not find on YouTube. Uh, big props here to Kolyon Noor. Uh, I guess he's a lawyer and he's giving his breakdown of the written house. Now, uh, I'm just going to play this uh, for you here. Between Joseph Rosenbaum. I don't know if it was just verbal, physical, or both, but there was some sort of confrontation between Kyle and Joseph. <laughs> Now, at some point before the shooting, a guy by the name of McGinnis interviewed Kyle. Now, that shoot me, shoot me, shoot me, uh, that's the guy who got shot in the head. Uh, that's not, the, this is just a preface to this video. It's not the video that I couldn't find that is coming up here in an interview. We only find small little snippets of this interview. Yeah. And then uh, what about these guys up on the roof? Their right? job is to provide overwatch to protect me also. Gotcha. They're protecting everybody on the roof. They're protecting each other. Understood. And, and we're running medical. And we're going in or we're getting control. And what about, are you, are you from the area? I am from the area. What brought you out here tonight? You just wanted to provide medical attention? Provide medical attention to people that need it. If somebody's injured, like, if you get hurt, I'm grabbing you. Have you encountered any issues yet thus far with law enforcement or anything like that? So we went to the church and we escalated the situation, telling them they need to leave or they will be detained if they're under arrest. This church right over here. And we stopped the fire out all the way down at school. Wow. Do you think it would have been different if the police had to try to stop them from? From setting the fire? I feel like there would be a lot more casualties and a lot more people injured. So I think the police are fine where they're at. And then, like, I'm sure the medical, because EMS is not coming in. So uh -huh. EMS is not Yeah. So as citizens, we need to help each other. Each other. Me and him are out here running and seeing if we need to help. But you got to which we need to go check to see if somebody gets hurt again. All right. Understood. That follows your fine. Yes, sir. After this now that was McGinnis giving this interview and there was a couple different things that he pointed out uh, number one what are those guys up there on the roof with their guns for oh they're overwatch they're protecting me but they're protecting everybody on the street and then notice how he is pointing again talking about medic he was uh, helping anybody this is he pointed out three or four times in different interviews about being a medic and he also talks here about uh, de-escalating the people trying to set fire to the church. He says, yes, we saved lives. Casualties would have been higher because the EMS doesn't even come in. They're not even coming in. So it's up to us citizens to help the people on the street. It does not sound like premeditated murder. Now, for something else that I hadn't seen prior, McGinnis was the guy who was just taking that interview there from Kyle. He was giving the interview. He was behind the camera. Now we have a written state or seemingly a written statement from McGinnis about what he had seen. Uh, or this is a transcription of an interview that McGinnis had given about the events that aspired, uh, sorry, the events that transpired uh, into the shootings. Unfortunate. It is horrible that anybody had to die. The shooting, McGinnis was interviewed by detectives where he said before Kyle reached the parking lot and ran across it, Kyle moved from the middle of the Sheridan Road to the sidewalk. And that is when he saw Rosenbaum trying to engage Kyle. As Kyle was walking, Rosenbaum was trying to get closer to Kyle. When Rosenbaum advanced, Kyle did a little juke move and started running. At the same time, there were other people that were moving very quickly and they were moving towards Kyle. And that according to what he saw, Kyle was trying to evade all of these people. This then results in Kyle being chased by Rosenbaum, who then throws an object at Kyle. The object misses Kyle, and because Kyle's clearly not a very fast runner. So guys, you know, 
we've we've heard the other parts we've seen the videos right um but this this interview is not being shared it it you know what i'm just recording this so that you can see this i'm going to put this out there for everybody because this is a very very important interview in my opinion that shows that this was not premeditated and he says yes i am from the area Guys, thanks for thanks for being with me in this time of society. It's crazy. What do you think about this? Have you seen the media's slant and bias on this? Or is it just me? Take care. We'll out.